Hey, welcome back to Soul Whispers Tarot. I'm Karen. Today's reading is their true feelings for you right now. So there's three crystal spheres for you to choose from. Set of cards number one is the clear quartz sphere on the left. Set of cards number two is the small aura quartz sphere. And set of cards number three is the amethyst sphere. So take some time to tune into the energies of these. See which one resonates with you the most. You can pause the video right now if you need to. And then we'll get straight into the reading. Welcome to set of cards number one. You've chosen the clear quartz sphere. So this is your person's true feelings for you right now. We're going to look into the tarot, some messages, cards, the divination dice and the charm. So lots of messages are going to come through. So this person is feeling a lot of desire and love for you, a lot of longing, especially with the Ace of Wands next to the lovers here. This is a lot of passion. This is the phallic symbol, a lot of desire. And the Six of Cups, we have the Reunion card and the Knight of Cups. This person's feeling deep romantic feelings for you. They want progression of this connection. They feel you are their soulmate or their twin flame if they know that label. Um, I feel like your person is spending a lot of time thinking about you and the connection. They may be listening to music and really sort of drifting off into this amazing connection. So this is them fantasizing, daydreaming, but it's beyond that. I feel like there's a powerful energetic bond here where you really sense each other's energies. Um, in some cases you feel that oneness if it's twin flame, a twin flame connection. Um, but deep desire, they're wanting a passionate new beginning. They feel very energized by this connection. There is a lot of sexual energy that provides them with a lot of energy in other ways as well. They feel a lot of divine inspiration. This is someone that's got a spring in their step is what I'm feeling. Feeling intense joy, happiness, bliss, excitement at this time. But it is a very deep spiritual experience with the angel in the lover's card here. This is like Adam and Eve. So this is really taking them back to their roots is what I'm hearing. It's taking them into an awareness of who they really are on a deeper level like their soul truth their infinite self they know you from like the heavens is what i'm feeling with this they know you from past lives um from other dimensions look at this really psychedelic poster here this is them like I feel like they're meditating. I feel like they are, look, these look like tunnels outside a window and this does as well. This is them really connecting deeply with you in the higher realms and like the soul family with the angel here. This is a soulmate or twin flame um, coming back together. Deep recognition, they recognize your soul. They feel so much happiness. This is like a pure, unconditional love. Um, this is you coming back together kind of energy. They feel like they've come home through meeting you. Reconciliation. That's the word I was looking for. It's soulmate re reconciliation. Um, and Knight of Cups. Yeah, so much passion that your person is feeling right now. It's like really immense this connection it just brings them so much meaning it's like they're understanding who they truly are or they're remembering that and it's kind of like a psychedelic kind of experience for them it makes them feel high it makes them feel blissful they're remembering that bliss from the higher realms is what i'm really feeling so you have a profound connection with this person so let's look at the messages from the heart cards. These are available for purchase on my website. So if you'd like a copy of the details, I'll blow this video. We have tortoise. So this person's in their shell somewhat. Um, it says slow moving, clammed up, slow, silent and <laughs> silent, slow and steady, withdrawn, introverted, shy, insecure and wise. So this person, I feel like they're an introvert. They do go inwards a lot and they're feeling somewhat shy in this connection or they're in their shell somewhat. I feel like this is someone that's just very deep and um, 
they are going in inwards a lot and connecting you on a deep, profound level. But they may be struggling to express themselves. They may feel nervous in your presence. But there's all this tension is what I'm feeling. Like you really feel this person's feelings for you and vice versa. Could be some awkwardness. We have a mask. So this person, yeah, they have a, they have walls up. They have a mask on. I feel like this is their pattern in life in general. But with you, they feel like they could be more naked and vulnerable because they feel um, like you love them unconditionally. But nonetheless, they've very much been conditioned in their life to have this mask on, hiding, putting on a front, trying to impress you, insecurities, um, self-protection. So this person could suffer with some self-esteem issues where they're not feeling good enough. Um, this person, they could really worry about, I feel like they really worry about what you think of them, how you perceive them. And sometimes they f it's like they feel nervous to be naked and vulnerable at times because they are literally like naked here in the lover's card. But then we have the mask on. They're hiding themselves away. This person, they have this desire to just be so close with you, be intimate with you, um, have like clear communication. But there's definitely like a shyness or awkwardness or just some patterns here of them having this tendency tendency to be somewhat closed off. It could be because they've gone through a lot of emotional trauma because we do have the Four of Swords here that comes after the Three of Swords, which is the heartbreak and emotional trauma card. I feel like this connection, it makes them feel like they can be more like um, childlike, spontaneous, open-hearted. There's a lot of healing of the inner child um, within this connection for both of you. So I feel like there's a lot of empathy or you have very similar like um, characters or there's this affinity on the soul level, deep recognition. So love potion, this is all this intense chemistry that your person feels for you. It could be bottled up somewhat with a cork on the top of this bottle here. They f they feel head over heels for you. It says falling in love, infatuation, obsession, hooked, irresistible captivated so i feel like this person they feel overwhelmed at times by this the intensity of their feelings for you they feel like they have to hold that back somewhat i definitely feel like that's why there's this shell and a mask here as well um they have a fear somewhat of wearing their heart on their sleeve that heartache could have been because in the past maybe they've worn their heart on their sleeve and they felt severely rejected or abandoned or they felt like an outsider in their life um, or just a lot of like heartache when it comes to relationships um, family dynamics so they feel intense chemistry but they're holding back somewhat uh, yeah, look, we have man cave. This could be woman cave as well. Um, taking alone time, problem solving, depression, isolation, hermit, sadness, wounds and shadow work. So again, it's like thick walls here. <clears throat> but nonetheless, it's like your person desires deeper levels of union. I feel like this person, they desire to be free is what I'm hearing from spirit. They felt so repressed. They felt like that tortoise where they've really, um, they feel like their fears have really slowed them down in life or weighed them down to the point where they feel like they've missed out on opportunities. This person, they're finding their fears, these walls they have up around them to be very heavy. This connection, it feels very light. It's very high vibrational, so it's very healing. Your person just desires to dive into that more and um, release this repression that they felt. Wow, we have lock and keyed, and it says perfect fit for opening each other's hearts. Union, divine love, soulmates, twin flames, loving bond, destined relationship. So yeah, your person is like this knight of cups here. They desire to just wear their heart on their sleeve again and show their real face, you know, not have the mask on. 
um, not have these defensives of all this armor up with you. They want to communicate themselves like authentically. They, they want to give you their heart. They want to give you their truth, but they feel like it's, it's going to take time or it is taking time with the tortoise. But, um, this lock and key is all about them feeling like you're the perfect fit to help them be more naked, vulnerable, open, and maybe vice versa for some of you as well. So I'm going to look at these emotions cards. Um, they're feeling nervous. They feel very nervous in your presence and it shows them like sweating here. So yeah, I feel like this is a shyness or a self-consciousness that they feel with you, especially with the tortoise and the mask here as well. They have a fear of, you know, like messing up or um, fears of abandonment or rejection. But this is like their overactive mind. I feel like you both feel your soulmates with the Six of Cups. And this is some sort of soulmate or twin flame union or reunion. But nonetheless, it's bringing up like all this nervousness within your person, which is very natural. It shows that they care about you very deeply. They care about what you think of them. Excited. So, yeah, you make them feel excited in all senses of the word. Um, this is them feeling so uplifted. This is that spring in their step. They're feeling like it's heavy, not on earth. Bliss, like ecstasy. <clears throat> This connection makes them feel excited because it's so deep. It's like beyond anything they've ever felt or experienced before. We have hungry. <laughs> so this is their desires. They're feeling hungry. It's like they're craving you. They're craving. Um, I'm hearing from spirit before they met you, especially they were craving this deep love, this deep experience of bliss. And this is someone who believes in soulmates. This is someone that believes in uh, romance. And they may have got their hopes kind of and their dreams sort of dashed in the past if they went through a lot of heartbreak. And it may have made them to lose faith in love but then you came along and it's like that you are their dream come true this type of connection is their dream come true but this is all their desires they feel for you right now love yeah this is a deep genuine love it is like a pure love with a six of cups here so this is unconditional love this is a love that's beyond like the social matrix um this is like divine love true love we have hot so yeah this is desire this is and um, they could feel hot and nervous um sweating shaking stuttering that kind of thing um and this is all because this person has fears again about being vulnerable but yeah they f again they feel a lot of desire for you with that hot card so let's look at the divination dice next and we'll look at the charms We'll finish the reading with these love message oracle cards. So the divination dice, how's this person truly feeling about you right now? <clears throat> so you make them feel like the king, okay? This is, um, you make them feel confident, self-empowered. You help this person with their confidence, okay, and their self-esteem. This is a theme that they are healing. I definitely feel like you were supposed to meet because one of the reasons is to help them raise their self-esteem. In some cases, this could be mirrored energy. Um, but this is like them feeling intense emotions for you. So, for example, the King of Cups. The king of wands is them feeling so much passion. We have the apple. This is really interesting because this is going over this lover's card. And in some decks it does show the apple. So temptation is that is what is making me think of. And that is making me think of the devil card. So that's like lust, that's desire. Um, but also an apple a day keeps the doctor away. So it's like that healing energy. There's definitely a lot of 
um, potency when it comes to desire. And these desires, it's like very high vibrational. It's very healing is what I'm really feeling from this on an energetic level. That like that level ex of excitement and chemistry and attraction and magnetism between you both. It's just really pulling you um, out of or through all this shadow in order to dispense with that and come into this powerful alignment of love. It's so healing. This desire is really um, speeding up healing and speeding up this process of raising both of your vibrations. So snowflake, I feel as though um, there's going to be significant shifts in the winter months. For some of you, this could be a direct confirmation. You or your person may live somewhere where there's snow most of the time or all of the time. They um, are excited for the winter months if they're in the nor northern hemisphere here. Um, they're, it's like they're excited for the holiday season. Um, there's definitely a feeling of like a different feeling in the air, like a magical feeling in the air. They find you to be very unique. They find this connection to be very unique. It's like nothing they've ever experienced before because it's that true love, it's that kind of love that really makes them remember who they really are. It's very profound. So their shell is cracking. This is like a rebirth. This is them coming out of their shell. Um, again, this is like that child, inner child kind of energy, healing of the inner child. Um, you've come into their life and you've completely changed their life, okay? Like they're now seeing everything from a totally different perspective. So who they truly are, what love, what true love is. They're seeing beyond social matrix. You make them feel like home, okay? There's this cozy feeling um, within this connection they feel safe they feel secure they do think about you all the time when they're at home when they have that alone time so let's look at some charms how are they truly feeling about you right now So I'm immediately seeing like this baby bottle here. So again, it's like this childlike energy. Um, they find you to be very nurturing, okay? They feel like you look after them really well. You help them grow. You nourish them. This connection nourishes them. This is healing of the inner child wound. Um, like you may love them unconditionally in ways that they've never felt loved or accepted before. We have the lantern here, which is like the hermit energy. This is um, shedding so much light and wisdom as well, the owl. This is shedding so much light and awakening um, into them, into their life, a lot of shadows coming up. This is, they're feeling um, like life has a completely different meaning or they're understanding the meaning of life. Um, and it's an absolutely incredible realization for your person. So much of this wisdom is coming in through these memories of who they are. This is like their soul gifts opening up as well. So we have the bicycle with the two hearts in the wheels. This is like you both moving forward in tandem. Um, going through lots of cycles together. Cycles of healing. And you're going places like together as well. So there's this wind up key here. I'm hearing from spirit, they felt very stagnant before they met you. They felt like life had sort of come to a standstill. And then they met you and it's like the universe turned this key. And now there's a lot of movement. There's a lot of shifts. There's definitely a lot more excitement and passion in their life. And a sense of direction, a sense of powerful meaning. So this connection 
wow, I'm noticing we have the lock and the key and I have saved this one to last. Um, this connection is really opening their heart and it's opening their crown chakra. We have the crown again. So this is like mirrored energy. They feel like you're the, like the king and the queen. So that's divine counterparts. And yeah, this connection, it's like really opening them up. It's really healing a lot of self-esteem issues that caused them to be, be very repressed in their life. So let's look at these love message oracle cards. How is your person truly feeling about you right now? We have, I feel so high, I can't get enough. So yeah, this is like a psychedelic experience, especially with this card here as well. They're definitely taking a lot of alone time. Some of them are definitely listening to music and it just, they're drifting off into this connection. This is where you feel the energy surrounding you. Um, you feel the oneness in the higher dimensions. So you're feeling that in your chakras. They feel so high they can't get enough. This connection is truly blissful for them. Um, my life has completely changed. So yeah. Because of this lover's energy, you are their soulmate, their twin flame. You've come into their life and um, they're now moving in a much more spiritual direction. The whole trajectory of their life has shifted. They've got um, come onto their path or they've, you know, recalibrated. There's definitely a soul contract between you both where you were supposed to meet in order to wake you both up or get you on your mission because we all come here with specific goals that we want to learn things we want to achieve um some of us are like volunteers trying to help with humanity or help the people around us and your person is much more aware of this they're much more aware that um they're supposed to be um on this like divine mission i feel how else are they feeling? I'm shifting very deeply right now. So yeah, um, transformation. This Your person's gone through a complete metamorphosis. Um, they're still going through this. Healing and learning and growing is a continual process. But um, they are shifting so much. They are healing so much of their heartbreak because that was the four of swords here immense you know it's their life really has like completely changed i think about you constantly so they're constantly going inwards they're constantly daydreaming they're constantly connecting with you energetically you're always on their mind this is the love of a lifetime so this is like the lover's card um they feel like you are the one for them they feel like uh, this is the most amazing, incredible, profound experience of true love. You've brought them back to them, themselves and seeing true reality. And it's really, really amazing. So if you'd like to know even more in depth how your person is truly feeling about you right now, please check out the Dear Beloved Love Letter Readings. Those are about a thousand words in length. They're $11, $0.11, cents, that's US dollars. And they look really deeply into your person's true feelings for you right now, what they want to say to you, and also what they really want to happen between you both. So the details to book are below this video in the description box and in the pinned comment. If this reading has resonated with you, please let me know in the comments and give it a like and subscribe and share the video as well. That all really helps me out. Thank you so much for joining me here. Take care. Bye. Welcome to set of cards number two. You've chosen the small or a court sphere. So this is your person's true feelings for you right now. We're going to look into the tarot, lots of messages, cards, the divination dice and the charms. So lots of messages are going to come through. So this person is constantly thinking about you from afar. They feel your love for them. They desire to give their heart to you. There's this energetic connection with the high priestess here as well. So a lot of telepathy between you both. It could be like a physical distance or just some sort of separation here going on. Um, they're feeling stuck somewhat in 
I always see this as like that they're at the top of the tower card so they're 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 stuck in some sort of ways but they're constantly getting going to the top of this tower where they can see the sky the ocean these broad horizons they feel so connected with you through like nature through the divine through the open expanse of the skies okay you mean the world to this person um this person you will feel them around you energetically all the time because your energies are as one in truth and um look this is like both of you these doves like flying to be together okay this is like your souls flying to be together <laughs> like so to speak if there's like physical obstacles then your souls know that there's no such thing as separation nothing can hold back love love knows no bounds so there's still this profound oneness between you both and uh, this person they're feeling this longing this longing for oneness i feel like in some cases the universe and and your souls have like agreed for this to be playing out in this way at this time so that you're you're kind of forced to connect with each other through the heart space through intuition and on that soul level and that's bringing so much healing on your soul levels and making you realize that who you truly are is the infinite soul and not the social matrix temporary human version um so yeah your person is dealing with some sort of struggles it could be in their day-to-day -day life with this ten of wands in some cases it could be in their home life because he's taking these wands to a house here but to me this is just saying that um, your person has some weight on their shoulders this could be like social matrix conditioning that we all go through where we're basically told to limit ourselves by thinking who we are is based on our five senses who we are is based on our achievements and we're basically kept small um, through like society sort of controlling our perception of ourselves so this could be heavy burdens to do with that and your person they just feel so liberated okay this connection it's so powerful it makes them remember who they really are on the infinite soul level so it's amazing it's rejuvenating it's giving them so much awakening awareness so much energy it's helping set them free but they could be feeling as though they're juggling this okay they've had this profound awakening on one hand but then they're still in this social matrix there's still certain obligations or certain roles um that they've they're conditioned into that they're feeling like they have to continue playing those out um, so I feel like your person, they're feeling emotionally overwhelmed, okay, with these stormy seas in the background, it's like they're juggling the, their true self that they've just become profoundly aware of with the false self, and this is a plane of duality after all, so your person, I feel like they're, they're struggling to know how to juggle that, how to manage that, how to be like these two different things in one, um, this is like the two coins are like the polarity of this 3d earth plane but with you this connection and your love takes into the infinite realm where there is no such thing as separation um so yeah your person is connecting with you very deeply on that spiritual level you could have very intense eye contact where there's a lot of that communication going on through your third eyes um, but this is someone i feel like in life in general they have sort of held back from allowing people to see how deep they really are um, because they've not felt like their true self is supported in day-to-day -day life or in society they've never like really met anyone who could really understand them on that deeper level until they've met you so this is why they're so drawn to you this is why they're thinking about you all the time they could have some other you know some whole other life going on they could have other commitments um 
but then they've met you and it just takes them deeper into allowing them to really feel, express, be their true self. But they may be needing to sort of take alone time in order to really allow themselves to feel all that um, completely because they could feel as though, you know, in their day to day life, they have to hide like their true spiritual self. They could be in a spiritual closet or they just feel like people around them won't understand, but they feel like you're, you understand them. So some sort of obstacles I feel. So let's look at the messages from the heart cards. These are available for purchase on my website. So if you'd like a copy, the details are in the description box. So yeah, obstacles, karma, soul contracts, things to learn, need more healing complications, divine timing, more awakening needed. So yeah, um, nothing's happening by mistake. Everything's happening for a reason. If there's a physical separation between you both, it's because, like I was saying at the start, I feel like your souls agreed upon these circumstances in order for you to bridge the gap between um, duality and bringing that into oneness or you know, through the contrast of duality, um, learning who they truly are by seeing who what isn't real. I'm reading that book, Your Soul's Plan, which is really opening my eyes to all of this, how we experience duality in order to um, know who we truly are on the deep level by realising we are not like the social matrix self so yeah your person juggling between their self-awareness um that's really profoundly coming up these soul memories coming up but then you know leaving this the social matrix version of self as well yeah this person they see you as their twin flame if they don't know this label they will say you are profound soulmates they yeah this is about infinity you take them to the infinite they feel so much peace this is true love okay it's beyond duality it's from the higher realms um it really helps them remember who they truly are and it's so profound, it's like heaven on earth for this person, it just makes them feel so unconditionally loved. And um, it, yeah, it sparks a lot of intense soul lessons coming up, a lot of triggering, and it says becoming one. Like this Ace of Cups, your, your hearts are coming together into oneness, you meet, you are one. Like this is definitely to a flame energy for some of you, okay? How else do they feel in Daydreamer? Yeah, they are thinking about you all the time, fantasizing, escapism, okay? So your person, like I was saying, they feel kind of stuck in certain ways. Um, but it's unrealistic, you know, to, to think that when we have these twin flame unions, then suddenly we're going to be able to completely release like karma and fears and all the conditioning of being the false self. It takes time. Okay. So escapism, this person is often that they're feeling so weighed down. Okay. Um, because we're all taught to basically repress ourselves and believe we're something that we're not. We're, we're, you know, taught to believe we are the human self and all the density. But this is becoming very heavy for your person. So they think about you all the time and they feel freedom. They feel uplifted. They feel like it's a huge sigh of release. relief. It's a release of the weight of the world that's been on their shoulders. Um, it's like the weight of the world is becoming less and less, like they can just hold it in their hand. Um, it's no longer this huge burden on their shoulders as much. So they have a lot of desire for you. It says passive, not taking action, ungrounded, but manifested. Um, I feel passive and not taking action. It's because this connection is just um, unfolding in the way it should, okay? Um, your person's like going with the flow of things. Reunion. Yeah, your person, they, they feel this is a reunion. They're under, they truly are understanding that there is no such thing as separation. And it's really immense um, 
realization for this person. It says twin flame union, coming back together, oneness, reconciliation, meeting the one, spending time together, divine marriage. Your person, they, they desire this union. They feel this union on the soul level. They desire to just feel this more and more and more like you and this connection is just so blissful they obviously feel so magnetized towards you and this experience that they're thinking about you all the time connecting telepathically because this is plugging them into this relief it's plugging them into love the high vibration freedom and so yeah, they are literally juggling 3D life with this infinite bond that you have. And they are feeling overwhelmed by that. Um, the, yeah, look, telepathy. Multi-dimensional connection. Feeling each other's emotions. Mind reading. Connecting through space and time and pure communication. So I feel like part of this juggling and them feeling overwhelmed is because they are this deep person like really deep but it's like the people that are around them in their day-to-day -day life don't understand this or they can they're not of the same depth as this person and so they cannot reach this person on their true soul like level deep down so it's like your person's been feeling discontent on that soul level unrecognized sort of invisible misunderstood that kind of thing so they keep their true self like kind of hidden away because they just know others won't understand and where do you even begin to try and explain um, these spiritual truths um, to people who don't understand so it, that's very exhausting the thought of that is exhausting to your person but with you it's like they feel like you just get it you just understand you just connect you're as one you you align um so this person it's like because you can't be together like in the 3d you are uniting energetically so let's look at these emoji cards for emotions, how they feeling about you right now. Sad. And this is going over the top of the obstacles and the distance. They're sad about this physical distance, these um, obstacles. They're longing for you, okay? They're longing for that freedom, that true union with the infinite they're missing home which is like the high realms which is where they know from they feel this intense love okay this is true love this is twin flame love the love just makes them feel so happy so peaceful their heart is overflowing with this love they want to give you their heart if you are giving them your heart it's like they want to receive this love, but um, there's those obstacles, okay? But you are giving and receiving this amazing energetic exchange of love energetically, like telepathically. You're always feeling that oneness within yourselves, like all the time. How else are they feeling about you? I think this is upside down. Um, overwhelmed, yeah, this is like that which one is it this one here it's like this two of pentacles they're trying to hold everything together i feel like okay this is what i'm hearing from spirit with this high priestess which is about keeping their true self um, and their true feelings and thoughts sort of hidden away i feel like in their day-to-day -day life they're trying to juggle everything and make out like everything is fine and that that they haven't had this immense shift and change within them i feel like this person their life has completely changed but they don't feel like they can tell anyone around them so they're trying to juggle everything this is like juggling uh, the mask they're trying to hide the fact that they've changed um, and they're trying to hide that they're feeling overwhelmed and emotionally all over the place sometimes they're just trying to come across as like everything's fine they're stable when they're feeling like unstable so that's making them feel overwhelmed as well I feel um, 
just you know and that sadness just feeling like mm, that they're having to wear some sort of mask in their day-to-day -day life how else are they feeling tired yeah this is very like exhausting they're shifting immensely they feel very tired of all these burdens of basically feeling pressured in life to have a mask on um throughout their whole life i'm feeling i feel like your person they are like this light worker high priestess high priest kind of energy very psychic very deep very much connected with the high realms um and this tiredness is they i feel like they felt like their whole life they've pretty much had to hide that part of themselves they may not have fully understood this part of themselves their self uh, because there was no one around them to really support that growth um, within them, the growth of, you know, focusing on their spirituality. Um, so, yeah, they, they've become very burdened. Without, to begin with, I don't think they even fully realise why they are feeling so burnt out in life. Um, they may have partially realised it, but... They felt so tired wearing that false mask and trying to be more like social, socially accepted. I feel like this person has been trying to fit in in life, um, but it's unfulfilling. Like their soul was feeling repressed. Their soul was feeling abandoned, like their true self was feeling abandoned. But you've come in and it's all about like the true self. It's all about this explosion of the true self coming out um, with this their heart overflowing it's like um this connection's opened up the dam that was blocking their heart blocking their soul from coming through um and so now it's like this love's overflowing and they can't stop it they don't want to stop it okay it's liberating it's making them feel like they're in the flow they can be who they are and maybe in some cases, this person hasn't expressed their true feelings to you. They haven't expressed who they truly are to you directly, but you're feeling it definitely on an energetic level. Um, and they are thinking about that. They're connecting with that truth all the time. We have relaxed. You and this connection, it makes them feel relaxed. It makes them feel at home, like they can be who they truly are. So I feel like your person, they're having to take quite a lot of alone time in order to really allow themselves to fully release this weight of carrying the mask around in that alone time. When they're thinking about you, they're immersed in all of this love, this healing energy. They feel connected with the soul family. It's really bringing them back to life very profoundly so let's look at some divination dice and charms next and then we're going to finish with these message cards that are really really powerful so let's look at the divination dice next they're true feelings for you right now they're howling at the moon okay to me this is them longing for you pining for you they feel this connection very deeply the moon is all about that depth this is also before they met you on a deep subconscious level their soul was calling out for freedom for this love to meet you you know they may not have even consciously realized that but they felt like something was hugely missing massively missing and um, something was amiss something wasn't right there was this discontent in their soul and then they've met you and it's like the perfect puzzle piece it's the answer to what their soul was like longing for and it's this deep spiritual experience where they can really come to life but there's a lot of fear here with the moon because they're so used to being so caged up and this connection is calling them out of their walls and defenses that happens over time how else are they feeling yeah oh my god there's immense depth okay you are their biggest dream come true with a wishing well their soul was longing to meet you you have a soul contract here you were supposed to meet you are this person's twin flame their soulmate your soul family you are supposed to meet this is all about depth 
as well the the well runs really deep wow this person they love diving deep but they may be keeping this in the dark okay with it being nighttime here they're howling at the moon but they're keeping this in the dark especially with the high priestess this is kind of like secret energy they have this secret depth of this love and these secret depths within themselves this is immense okay <laughs> How else are they truly feeling about you right now? We have this bandana on and not looking too happy, kind of like this overwhelmed card. This is to me is like they're feeling as though they have to just sort of push on in these sort of struggles is what I'm feeling. This is like getting to work kind of energy. Um... So yeah, just feeling overwhelmed with it, overwhelmed with the full self. How else are they feeling? We have the camera here. So this person's rem reminiscing about the past. Um, this person, I feel like they're looking at your photos. They could be looking at social media. They want to make memories with you. Okay. They want to have times where they can make more memories with you. They want to capture like this moment. Okay. Because they just feel absolute bliss and euphoria. And they just want to feel this way forever. We have the devil here. So yeah, this is some of the, like the shadow coming up, the fears, the wounds, that's feeling trapped um, in certain areas in their life, you know, internally, mentally, in their physical lives as well. Let's pull some charms um, and then we'll look at those powerful messages cards. So how is this person truly feeling about you right now? So yeah, they feel this deep love, but they're having to sort of clam up about it or hide this within their heart. There is a deep, profound telepathic connection because there's a little amethyst in the middle here, um, which is the crown chakra. So this is someone that's very wise, okay? I feel like they've even like hidden their wisdom. They've hidden their power. They've hidden their light from the world because they just didn't feel supported. They just didn't feel like there was anyone, especially growing up, like around them that could really help them flourish in these areas. So they've been somewhat sort of pushed down or kept hidden within them, clammed up. Um, we have the chakra stone. So this is a profound healing experience. This is transcendental experience. Um, again, it's like they're feeling the duality of this 3D plane and the fifth dimension and beyond. Um, I feel like your person is spiritual. For many of you, like they are actively trying to heal their energies, um, especially since meeting you, or for some of you, only since meeting you. Um, we have the cat here. I noticed the cat, was it on this one? Where was the cat? On one of the cards, I think I saw a cat, unless I didn't. <laughs> um, was there one? No, I swear I saw one. It must have been in set cards number one. Um, so this is about that the, the psychic nature of this connection. This is someone that can see in the dark. This is making me think of cat's eyes, uh, like in the road. Again, it's like in secret, in the dark. They're seeing like this path. They know that there's this path between you both. Um, that they're magnetized into. This is like that soul contract for immense healing, immense awakening, 
It's they're seeing that road, they're remembering that path and they're going down it. They can see in the dark where others cannot see. This is what I'm hearing. We have the cassette tape. This can be outdated thinking going on on repeat. This is like childhood wounds. Um, outdated thoughts. It's like they're feeling as though many things in their life are kind of outdated because they've had this huge kind of upgrade in terms of awareness. This also makes me think of music. Your person's connecting with you through music. They may communicate with you through music in some cases. We have this pink bicycle here. This is about love. You both moving forward in tandem. You really work well together, okay? Again, this is like twin flame energy. You're each one of these wheels and through this love, you work together to have this profound healing and movement forward. Pink is like rose quartz, which is the heart chakra. So let's look at these messages cards. How is this person truly feeling about you right now? It's too difficult for me to come forward. So there's a lot of fear within your person. This is to do with thought patterns, feel, feeling stuck. This is like conditioning, okay, um, that we all have. We all go through immense conditioning, being born here into the social matrix. And... Um, but again, it's like connecting energetically with the eight, eight tier, the infinity symbol. It's like, because this normally shows the person with a blindfold on, they're tied up and there's um, the swords around them. To me, this is like in their day to day life, they've been so repressed. This is a lot of this is to do with them repressing themselves. It just became a pattern to be kind of like a false proof projection in their day to day life um hiding themselves away hiding their power hiding their light away but in doing so and being so bound up it's definitely like they're because the blindfolds on it's like they're going inwards they're connecting with you inwardly they could i feel like this person they've always been so connected with the divine because they're very uh, adept at going inwards and they've got a powerful like intuition they have strong empathy because of this and this is where you and your person just really understand each other you really connect on that deep repressed level so i'm hearing that is why there's obstacles um in terms of like physical the physical side of your connection because you're both just so used to being your true selves inwardly and so you know each other from the higher realms where you are your true selves. And therefore it's playing out where you're connecting telepathically. Um, because you're just so unused to being your true selves in your day-to-day -day lives. So how else is this person feeling? I want to give you everything, the six of pentacles. So yeah, this is that sadness they feel and this longing. They just feel this powerful magnetism towards you. It's like they want to be there for you. They want to experience everything. They want to like give you everything. You both feel this way. Six of Pentacles. It shows uh, the the person, the wealthy person, giving to the poor. But he's holding the the scales of balance. It's like you both give to each other. It's like you've both been the beggars in life in terms of hiding yourselves away and feeling so misunderstood. So you both feel so loved by the other you're receiving the love from the other but you're also giving that love to the other um you are my perfect person the two of cups so yeah they feel like you're on the same page you're you're um reflecting each other you're connecting in the heart space you both um feel the same way are on the same page that kind of energy that soulmate twin flame energy again a lot of harmony on that energetic level even if you know that the obstacles on the surface are like fears obstacles on that soul level um where there's there's nothing like filtering uh the love isn't being filtered through anything on that that um, pure level on the soul level there's so much harmony I'm totally heartbroken so yeah they're, f they're feeling really sad 
and heartbroken over um, this physical separation is what I'm feeling because they have these like immense desires. Um, I lay awake at night worrying about us, the nine of swords. So this is um, them feeling very overwhelmed, like emotionally. This is going near this devil on the dice here, which is, I feel like they're feeling uh, anxieties about how they're feeling stuck or whatever they're struggling with. Um, and yeah, they're, they're just really, really longing for you. This is a, a truly profound love experience, um, intense longing that your person is feeling. If you'd like to know even more in depth how your person is truly feeling about you, please check out the Dear Beloved Love Letter readings. Those are about a thousand words in length. They're $11.11. .11, that's US dollars. They look really deeply into your person's true feelings for you right now, what they want to say to you you and also what they really want to happen between you both so the details to book are below this video in the description box and in the pinned comment if this reading has resonated with you please let me know please write a comment share it subscribe and that all really really helps me out thank you so much for joining me here take care bye Welcome to set of cards number three. You've chosen the amethyst sphere. So this is your person's true feelings for you right now. We're going to look into the tarot, lots of messages cards, the divination dice and the charms. So lots of messages are going to come through. So your person's feeling some sort of anxiety right now when it comes to your connection um, with the nine of swords here. This is your person, they, they can't see clearly. They may not be able to see your love for them. Um, or in some cases, it could be the other way around. So take this however this resonates. But this, I'm gonna say as this person, they cannot see the light, okay? They're in a lot of darkness. They're thinking worst case scenarios. This could be in your connection. It could be struggles they're going through in their day-to-day -day life. It could be that they, they fear um, like everything falling away because I'm seeing how everything's melting, melting away here. Um, I feel like your person, they're going through some sort of anxieties to do with an ego death here. Like this connection is profound. So their false self, which is like the socially conditioned self, is melting away uh, to reveal their true soul self. Or in many cases, they fear like losing you. So let's let's put a clarifier for this. We have make love not war. Okay, and the two are cups. So it's your connection, your love, it makes them feel peaceful in a times where they could be in like a war, like within their head, or this could be some sort of battles or struggles they're going through in their day-to-day -day life. In some cases, this could be what's happened between you both, some sort of battle. They want to make love, not war. They want peace. They want harmony. They want you to come back together. Um, or they just feel like you give them a lot of comfort that they could be really stressed about like losing you or fearing that you don't love them or you're walking away, like the connection's melting away. It's like they want to reach out. Um, they want to express their true feelings. They want a healing of this connection. They want closeness for you to come back together. It's like they're praying to the divine to bring you back together or into deeper levels of like union and harmony and peace. Okay, you represent peace. Yeah, I'm just seeing the doves with a peace symbol here. Um, you represent like this healing love they feel like safe with you they feel um like this is a divine love you know this normally shows the angels here like they feel like the angels have brought you together your soul family this is normally an angel as well bringing bringing your hearts together into one okay this person their heart is overflowing with love they feel so much love for you they want to give you their heart they want this overflow of their heart to um, merge between you both um, so I do feel like this is fears of unrequited love or fears that they love you more than what you love them kind of thing they want um, it to be equal balanced 
um, reciprocal love and your energies flowing together. They want peace. They want balance. There's scales here as well. And look how he's trying to balance and juggle everything. Your person's dealing with a lot, okay? They feel like your love uh, comes in. Your love heals them. They're in this bigger energy, okay? There's there's some feelings of like loss. Uh, they fear losing you or um, there's a lot of things shifting out of their life or instability coming up in their day-to-day -day life because in some cases this is your person going through an immense spiritual awakening because of this love this love represents true love beyond duality so it's making them realize who they really are let's clarify this we have the three of cups this is yeah a profound spiritual awakening for some because this is the trinity this is you your person and the divine the soul family all united into one there's a celebration here this connection it it brings them so much abundance um with this what they're making wine here it's like they feel intoxicated with this love they feel like there's this infinite flow of love your connection makes them feel so euphoric so energized so healed and that they really um they they really feel like they need you okay um i feel like there's this amazing exchange of energy between you both in a 3D, it could be like this person's caught up. It could be in their own fears. It could be in obstacles. Maybe they cannot give to you in certain ways in a 3D. But nonetheless, this Six of Pentacles is about an, a balanced exchange of energy, just like the infinity symbol here in the Two of Pentacles. So there's definitely like this reciprocation energetically. They feel like you are the wealthy person here, filling them up with this love. They want, in some cases, they're wanting this reassurance from you. They may feel like you're distant. They may fear that you're like moving on or something in some cases, or they fear that will happen. Um, so it's like, this could be a case also of like you giving them your love, but they have some self-esteem issues and they cannot fully receive um, but they definitely want to give you their heart as well. They want to, they may be struggling, feeling like they're not good enough, but they're wanting to give back to you, okay? This is about giving, this is as well, and then they're reaching out, touching the Divine Feminine's cup here as well. So let's clarify this Six of Pentacles. We have the chariot, so yeah, your love that you provide this person, it heals them to the point where they really feel like they can powerfully move forward in their life and heal and really get on their path um, get moving in, in positive directions. But again, there's this balance here. This is yin and yang. You both give and receive from each other. Um, in some cases, it's on that energetic level. But yeah, this is about a, a balance as well, a juggling, balance, exchange of energy. And here as well. Wow. So they desire balance or with you, they feel balance and stability. It's um, It may be triggering instability in their day-to-day -day life, like tower moments, things falling apart. And it's because this love is stable. This is like an infinite love. It's profound. It represents their truth, your truth. It's the constant, the thing that remains constant, the love, the truth. So anything that's out of alignment with that, anything that isn't true is coming up to be released. So I feel like there's a lot of fears within your person as well because there's these immense shifts going on in their life and it, it's scary it, you know it's very it can be very triggering it can make you feel like you're losing your security your sense of stability so that they look to you and this love because you make them feel supported you make them that they find stability in this love but sometimes they may fear there's a lack of stability if if they feel like you abandoning them or rejecting them. So let's clarify this this two of pentacles. This is I feel like them juggling uh, their day to day life with this immense spiritual awakening that they they may be keeping hidden from the people around them, or they're just feeling pulled between their true self and their false self. 
let's clarify it. We have the Nine of Cups, the Genie and the Lamp. So you, it's like you are their biggest wish. Um, Genie and the Lamp, this is like they feel this is their dream come true. This love, it's just immense. Um, they they feel like this genie, they feel like they've been very repressed in their life. So they could be juggling this, like they feel very repressed. But with you, they feel freedom. They feel like you've come in and it's like you've rubbed the lamp and the genie's free. Because um, he's been trapped in the lamp for thousands of years kind of thing. This is like with you, their soul comes to life. They want to, like, give you everything. I feel like they want to be your dream come true. Like, they want to give you all these cups. Um, you know, whatever you desire. It's like they wish they could fulfill those desires within you. But they could be, like, obstacles. Um, so, temperance. There's a lot of, like, energetic union here. A lot of telepathy. They want this balance, this harmony. That they feel like you help them to um, have healthy boundaries when it comes to their thinking. Worst case scenarios, you help to ease their overactive mind and then create healthy boundaries to that. Let's clarify this temperance. The hanged man. Your person's taking a lot of time to immerse themselves in this connection look your person is transforming they're the butterfly here this is so much awakening coming in this is um them increasing they feel like you your love for them helps them with their self-esteem increasing their self-esteem exponentially um the hanged man so yeah there's a sense that this your connections come in and it's totally turned this person's world upside down. Like they're seeing everything from a different perspective themselves, love, life, everything. Um, but they're finding it hard to juggle that. But as time's going on, they're finding it easier. I feel like they're blending whatever is like a duality, they're blending it into oneness especially with the infinity symbol here as well so let's look at some messages from the heart cards how are they feeling about you right now we have obstacles karma soul contracts things to learn need more healing complications divine timing more awakening needed okay so what's stressing your person out is these obstacles it could be the obstacles themselves that are causing stress, but also it's because they're longing for like this union with you. They're longing to express themselves to you is what I'm feeling. We're going to look in some, into some messages cards towards the end of the reading. So we're going to look at like what this person wants to communicate to you. I feel like they're feeling sadness because they cannot communicate their feelings and because there's some physical separation here. How else are they feel in mask? Yeah, they're feeling as though they have to hide their feelings for you somewhat. It says hiding, putting on a front, trying to impress you, insecure insecurities, self-protection. Um, one of the obstacles could be that they have to hide like this love they feel for you if they're in some sort of other circumstances that will resonate for some of you. Um, for others, this is just like fears that they fear being so like vulnerable or they fear you knowing how profoundly they feel for you. I'm sitting at the bottom of the deck, obsession, fixated, passionate, can't stop thinking about you, sexual tension, burning desires, fascination. S some of them, they fear allowing their the depth of their feelings to be seen by you because then they'd feel too vulnerable. How else are they feel and they feel like you are twin flames that's like this yin and this yang that balanced exchange of energy giving and receiving 
um, infinite soul bond, union, unconditional love, intense soul lessons, triggering, becoming one. So that looks like a butterfly as well. They are massively transforming. They want to help you shift. They want to help you heal and transform as well. That is how they want to provide for you. They just feel like your connection represents love. In it, they, they're they either experiencing a lot of war kind of energy, a lot of conflict um, in their own life. Um, but your love represents the love, the peace. Well, that's what they're desiring if there has been conflict between you both. How else are they truly feeling? Love letter. Yeah, this person, they definitely want to communicate to you. Um, or in some cases, it could be that there has been some sort of communication, like your person was juggling. I feel like sometimes they're like, she loves me, she loves me not, that kind of thing. Or he loves me, he loves me not that kind of thing and they can feel all over the place their overactive mind comes in they're desiring either communication from you that would be their dream come true that's their wish um or you have communicated through to them most likely through writing and that was their dream come true but for some they're just desiring for you to express your feelings more clearly it says written communication of feelings expressing heartfelt truth reaching out missing you in some cases they're just needing like this reassurance and when they feel uncertain it's like their fears come up and that's when the mask comes up so again um we're going to look a little bit later on into some messages cards what they would communicate to you so these ones have come out reunion social media innocent and love potion so yeah there could be some sort of written communication through social media or they're desiring that you could be hearing from them soon a reunion coming back together this is what they desire okay or they desire like this harmony feel like your person they try to tap in energetically and see how you're feeling about them um, through trying to feel out your energies it says twin flame union coming back together oneness reconciliation meeting the one spending time together divine marriage and spying on your social media communicating online stalking obsession um, we have innocent and love potion so this person you know, take this only if this resonates. Always follow your own intuition, but it says they are pure, their heart's in the right place. Naive, childlike, they have pure intentions, they're just inexperienced, they mean well, you can trust them. Or this is how they feel about you as well. This is this could be how you both feel about each other. Um, they feel so much peace, so much healing from your energy. And they with this love potion, they feel such immense love okay such immense chemistry and passion but they may be trying to bottle that up hide that put in a, put a cork in it kind of thing head over heels falling in love infatuation obsessed hooked irresistible um captivating so let's look at some of these emotions cards how are they feeling about you right now then we'll look in, into some divination dice and the charms. And then we'll look at what would they say to you. So they're feeling sad. Yeah, they're feeling sad about these obstacles. And fear of loss. They desire deeper levels of closeness, union, harmony. They could be feeling sad if there was some sort of... Um, triggering that's happened between you both how else are they feeling right now scared yeah scared of loss scared because this is so intense scared of you seeing deep so deeply into them we have a ghost here as well so this could be a direct confirmation for some that the only reason this person is ghosting you is because they're scared okay they're hiding behind a mask 
they're hiding the fact that they love you so deeply it's in some cases it's like they they are like really trying to give you their heart and they're trying to show you their feelings but at other times their fears come up and then this mask comes up but they they could be scared of you ghosting them as well so then they're like they're, they're fearful of wearing their heart on their sleeve How else are they feeling? We have hot. So this is a lot of desire. To me, this is like um, they have a lot of feelings. They may have repressed them somewhat. And this is like their, their feelings wanting to like overflow. Almost like this love potion. They've been putting a cork in it. <laughs> um, but they feel so much passion. So much desire for you. Um, this could be like nervousness as well, like, how else are they feeling relaxed? Um, so yeah, it, there's either, either been some sort of communication from you or they desire that. Um, but when they when they hear from you, it makes them feel so happy, so contented, so reassured. It's like their dream comes true. It helps them to get out of this whole um, overthinking, she loves me, she loves me not kind of energy. So you have this profound effect on this person to make them feel at ease, reassured. And that's what they're desiring either through knowing how you feel about them or your energies just make them feel relaxed when they're going through turbulence in their own life we have thursday um it's very interesting because we have like this love potion and it says thursday so it's like this person, they can't get enough of you. They're drinking up your energy. They love feeling head, head over heels, this infatuation, this obsession. They love feeling this magnetic pull where they find you and this connection irresistible, where they're captivated. It's like your person loves romance is what I'm feeling. Your person, they may love this romantic um, communication um it's like they're thirsty for that they desire that it makes them happy so let's look at the divination dice next then we'll look at the charms then we'll look into what would they communicate to you but how are they feeling about you right now we have this one here um this is like death and rebirth because it's like the Grim Reaper, but it also reminds me of the Six of Swords, which is they want to heal this tendency that they have to overthink things and stress themselves out. Because the Six of Swords, they're in like the choppy waters, which is like that Two of Cups energy with the, the waters in the background that are all over the place. So they, they sometimes feel an emotional roller coaster. They want to heal this, okay? They want to feel more chilled out. But sometimes it's like they need some sort of communication to help them understand where they stand with you. How are they feeling about you? Yeah, look, I'm going to place this um, if it's going to, yeah. I'm going to place this on top of this scared card. So they're scared of tower moments. They're scared of loss, abandonment and instability through that loss of your love or of your connection. Um, this could be, in some cases, turbulence, tower moments happening in their own individual life. Um, this ghosting could be because they're just going through a lot right now that they're having to deal with. Wow, we have hot 
And then we have the hot food here. So this to me is all about nourishment. This connection makes them feel so nourished, so healed. It gives them energy, okay? Yeah, look, this is that craving, um, that that need for this reassurance from you, for you to be generous, okay? Uh, some of you, you're very like generous, you're very loving, you're very giving, and this is and nourishing them it's making them feel hot as well like <laughs> it's making them feel um a lot of that desire what's fulfilling a lot of desires so how else we have the love potion again so this could be mirrored energy. Where was that love potion? Here it is. Love potion. Head over heels. Infatuation, obsession. Fallen in love. Irresistible. Captivated. This could be mirrored energy. Like you both feel so much. But you both kind of hide it somewhat at times. <laughs> How else are they feeling? We have this club here. Um, what was the? Yeah, your person. To me, this is saying they're going through a lot of struggles, conflict, battles. Could be internally. Could be externally. I'm just seeing, I'm, you know, I moved this dice over here and now it's on this one is here. So your person, they could feel like they have to have a lot of defenses up in their day-to-day -day life. Or again, in some cases, this could be what happened in your connection. Um, but they want inner healing from that. They want harmony to come back into your connection. Let's look at the divination dice next. How is your person truly feeling about you? Yeah, look, they want stability for... Um, they want balance. They want a firm foundation. This is a deeply romantic connection. Um, this is like a traditional romance. I feel like your person has always desired um, like a traditional sort of romance or they believed in what other people would just say is like fairy tales. This is someone that's very like romantic. They feel like this is really being expressed through your connection. They feel like they can express this within themselves to you or they're desiring to this is like a soul level commitment with the ring here as well we have this pink bicycle this is saying that your energies work together like you work in tandem into so much forward movement so much healing so much awakening this is saying your connection is definitely going somewhere you're both following your heart I feel something significant is going to happen um, during Christmas time. So this could be that communication coming in or this could be profound shifts within your connection. It may come as a surprise. Deeper levels of closeness around Christmas time. And this is rom deep romantic feelings with this heart and the bow. Um, again, it could be like their heart is tied up somewhat, but it's also like the infinite bond. There's like um, so much like stability in this love, okay? This love is strong. It's in some cases, it's infinite if you're that twin flame energy. So let's finish off with some of these messages cards. 
This one's coming out straight away. I want to give you everything. This is the Six of Pentacles again that's already come out. Okay, this is that balanced exchange of giving and receiving, but they want to give you everything. They may be feeling sad. And there was all those cards that came out about giving as well, giving um, their heart, giving their support. They really want to be there for you. They want to be that stability. What else would they say to you? I'm going to make you mine, the Ace of Wands. So this is manifestation. They desire to manifest union with you is what I'm feeling, especially with those love potions that came out, two of them. It could be like mirrored energy. I'm going to make you mine. They desire this. They have like goals and aspirations, um, a lot of desire. Would that be in the Ace of Wands as well? A lot of fire, a lot of passion, feeling hot. <laughs> I know this is spiritual, the Hierophant. So this is a profound um, spiritual awakening, telepathic connection, transcendental experience. Um, it normally shows the two monks, so you and your person, the twin flames, looking up at the Hierophant. So you're both feeling this immense path. And you're both moving powerfully down that path together into higher levels of like consciousness. What else would they say to you? I'm so inspired by you, Queen of Wands. So they see you as very passionate. You have a lot of goals, a lot of dreams. You make your dreams come true. You had the... Um, Nine of Cups, the Genie and the Lamp. Uh, they see you to be very strong, like you know where you're going kind of thing. You're like that chariot energy. You're moving forward into so much healing, so much success. And they feel so inspired by you. And what else would they say to you? I won't ever give up on us. This is the Page of Swords. So this person, they're investing in connection. They're doing a lot of this healing work. Um, they have goals, aspirations for deeper levels of union between you both. So if you'd like to know even more in depth how your person is truly feeling about you, please check out the Dear Beloved Love Letter Readings. Those are about a thousand words in length. They're $11.11, 11 that's US dollars. And they look really deeply into your person's true feelings for you right now, what they would say to you, and also what they really want to happen between you both. So the details to book are below this video in the description box and in the pinned comment. If this reading has resonated with you, please let me know by writing a comment, liking the video, subscribing and sharing it as well. That all really, really helps me out. Thank you so much for joining me here. Take care. Bye.